What's up, guys? You're going live today. I got my cousin here. His name is Ryan. And today, we agreed to show all the favorite cars of my collection. And... Okay, we're just waiting for all the live people. Let's do this, let's do this, man. I'm just waiting here. What did I drop? Wait. No. Yeah, he's playing Fortnite, but I do play Fortnite sometimes. Play other games, Forza, DTA. And I got my favorite cars right here. As you can see, this one's a custom. Anyone watching it? I'd love to be watching it, man. People but are? I'd love to be watching it. I might start if we if, if we get a hundred thousand subscribers by the mid twenty nineteen, merch is available. Sunglasses I mean peace. Oh. Yeah, he's playing Fortnite still. He's a champ. Everyone hey, everyone say Ryan's a champ. Got all my favorite models. Just Ooh, a big I got the Gucci three right now. A big, big, big mess everywhere. But, but yeah. This is gonna probably be at least an hour long, if not longer. So yeah, let's do. Right <laughs> yep. Okay, right, so my fav first models, I'll show you the customs. They were gonna go all the way to the good stuff. And I hope y'all are all having a happy Thanksgiving. This is the custom Moon Eyes Ed Provado. Wait. Moon Eyes Deco, yellow paint. Tell me what this looks like. Is it good? Yep, I think it's good. It looked very crappy before, but now it's good. No, those are $200. But Don't be messing with those. My next one, H2 Go. This one should be a good one. Be a very good one. And Moon Eyes. Flames, moon eyes on the wing, and I still have to put wheels on the front. I haven't found any. Let's get in. What do you think of this one? But the next one, I wish they really do. Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper moon eyes in the retro entertainment series with the removable base, everything. Hush, 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 hush. Hush. Hush, hush, hush. 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 Levi, be quiet. Moon eyes, movable hey, base. Yeah, and tell Levi, be quiet. Uh, and movable base. Moon eyes. Levi, hush. Moon eyes. Both sides 68 or 69. I wish they got this feature. I wish they had their this feature again. Kind of miss it. I've collected for a while, but I really got. You got any viewers? They're gonna start viewing. Have you had yet? Yeah, they're gonna view. They're gonna be like, I missed the live stream. But no, this is. Are they viewing yet? Are they might viewers? start. The custom mute moon eyes. Is there any viewers yet? No, they're gonna start viewing. But they don't do anything yet because they can't see it. Once they're they join, they're gonna see the live. They're not gonna see what you've been showing. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna say like you're. I know, but I'll do it. They'll see on the video though, like when it's over with. They'll see. It. No, they won't. Yeah, they will. Let's oh yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. That one. Now, y'all are gonna be saying, how many other Moon Eyes cars do you have? Well, technically, I forgot the Camaro Moon Eyes. I didn't really care about the Moon Eyes except the Supercharger Hunt uh, Custom Seventy Seven Dodge Van. If you know what that is, go look it up. Very nice. I think Best Super Two Thousand uh, Fifteen or Fourteen. Next to the Ferrari 599 XX Super. Prices on the Ferrari, $200. eBay, Amazon, $300. But this one, custom 1968 or 69 Mercury Super Cycle and Gasser Moon Eyes. Has a lot of stuff on it. Engine. Big ol' engine on the front. Tail lights. Big jacked up suspension. If, if you look in there. There's a roll cage. You can see it. Yeah, you can see Moon Eyes on the back. Let's call this a Moon Eyes. Drag, Super Cyclone. There's Mert, Mattel, Firestone with the Moon Eyes. Right there. You can see it. Anyways, that's 
that's the moon eyes now we have one more moon eyes car and y'all have probably been liking moon eyes of 2017 let me just go through my bag of favorites if i can find it it should be in here somewhere but i'll find it where is that looking for the uh oh there it is this is the moon eyes cool combi also also a red edition and target which probably is over right now but but the next k day is on december 8th i believe and there's some good k day stuff b case skyline supers i'm gonna unbox it yep also super 2015 and in 2019 it's getting it we're top 18 <laughs> and also we're in uh 2018 this was a treasure hunt probably the most likely light treasure hunt of 2018 i mean the worst was probably the uh street beast i think it's a street beast radical racer but moon eyes i really need the red eyes moon eyes red edition custom headlights drag bus mystery machine and the drag bus combined surf Wars, surf shop and that's all the moon eyes now I'm also trying to battle sickness. It's almost gone, but I can still do a live stream. And we might go into golf. Let's do golf. We got maybe I don't know how many golf. One. We have golf. We have one golf custom. No. And we have. No. Dead. And we have a super golf. And I forgot to bring the regular one. But I'll show you it later. Okay, here we go. This is where y'all golf fans come in, right? Golf. Who has a sniper? Okay, so oh, we I know see golf has been a long time, but golf has been mainly with the uh, retro entertainment, the collectors, RLC exclusive cars. But but we got some golf cars. And first, I got to show you the best, maybe the best, maybe the fifth best Porsche of 2018. Pause the video to read what's on the back. You can also recolor in white. Might customize one of these. Let's open her up. Mainly, what I know is that all the baby blue livery. Epic. I'll show you the super. There's also a few Zamax. Only two, I think. Got the golf stripe with the golf logo. 81. Golf on the side. Baby blue. But I'm really disappointed about the wheels. They could have made the wheels orange. But Hot Wheels can do whatever they want. It's Hot Wheels and Hot Wheels. And it also says Firestone. This thing might put tail lights on it. Very epic. I love this car. Very slim to me. Now we got Super. Didn't bring the regular Indy. What? But I'll. Oh, no. But I'll. But I'll bring it. I'll show you in a later video on the review of the Super. Of course, International Super, I got this shipped in. Found some International Indies, other places, but I just wanted another one. I'm gonna rip it open. As you can see, all Supers have golden Circle Flame logos, starting in 2016. I think they were here in 2015. In 2013, from when Supers were first born, 2007 till 2012, or maybe 2014, they didn't have the logo, they had nothing. But the treasure hunt said, congratulations, had the silver logo or the black logo. I also have no number. FK Super. And boy, oh boy, this thing is the best looking. Super. Super Indy 5 R Oval. Of course, got the slicks. New four spokes. TH on the nose. Golf. But I think this is my favorite Golf Super of 2018. Very nice. Agree with me. <laughs> now, if you're wondering, you got any more golfs? Well, if you're a Lamborghini fan, this is my custom, custom. I want them to do a custom Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Golf Retro Entertainment. I wish they did, but these are the wrong wheels. Obviously, if they were, they'd be the GT Real Riders in orange. Got the golf stripe, dark blue. Golf on the side, 68. You can barely see it. Someone made it for me. Tail light details. Headlights. 
slicks. I think it might have slicks. I'm not too sure. But this is the Indy 500 oval. Nah. What am I saying? The Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. Golf Custom. Put that aside. Now, what do we move on? We move on to Urban Outlaw. Huh? Hold on. We get the... We, hold on. There's more. Now we move on to the uh, Manus Walker Urban Outlaw. I forgot to bring my other one because they didn't give me it, but the more... <laughs> Hey, we're just hey, around. Let way, game hey, go subscribe to Ryan's channel. Go subscribe to his. I don't even know the name. He doesn't know the name, but, but. Oh. Urban. We'll put it in the description of the next video. Yeah, description. Or go search it on YouTube, Ryan Woodson. Yeah, and it should have a foiler in the front. Yes. I'm going to the picture. And game update. Now I'm playing GTA. So. He's playing GTA, and he died at 15th place on Fortnite. But anyways, this is the brand new model. Brand new Porsche of 2018. This is the ninth. This is the 1971 Porsche 911. Magnus Walker recolor for the K case. The original had the red striping here and here, with the gray wheels and the blue base. This one's a recolor. And Urban Outlaw Magnus Walker. Urban Outlaw. If you don't know, Urban Magnus Walker is a real person. He has a lot of Porsches in his collection. Yeah, you can search up Magnus Walker. Yeah, search up Magnus Walker. He's a good dude. I like him. I like all of his Porsches. I like all of his cars. And it says Momo 277 Porsche. But what disappoints me, it has no tail light de headlight details, which basically because they had a difficult time doing it. But they did do the back ones in clear. Oh. And also, if you're into cars, go search up the Hoonigans on YouTube. Yes, go search them up. Go search them up. But now, now it's the fun part. Hold on. Now we get into GTRs. Who's ready with me? We got some good stuff. The last GTR will be the best one. Let's get it. Let's get it on, okay? That's if you're, my, if by the way, that's my. Those are my favorite cars in GTRs. Yeah. He, if you like Tanner Fox, or is it Tanner Fox? They or have GTRs. GT, or just GTRs in general. GTRs. If you're a GTR Skyline. Go look them up. They're really good. Best JDM also, cars Also, shout in the world. out to uh, Tanner Fox. Uh, shout out to Tanner Fox. Shout out to Hot Wheels Tanner Fox because Tanner Fox works with the Hot Wheels. And you can also go check out Tanner Fox at tfoxbrand.com. Yes, and check out his merch. And let's get on to it. So, we got the, all the, my 2009 Nissan GTRs at my house. I didn't want to bring them because I was too lazy to do it. Blah, blah, blah. But the recent 2009 was in the uh, Gran Turismo. The thing just looked nice, but it was the ugly wheels that I didn't like. The ugly wheels were also on the Super Mitsubishi Lancer in 2015. Blech, I couldn't even stand it, but I collect Supers more than anything else. Or all C cars. So, that's all the good stuff. Now, I also was in Fast and Furious, which I'll show you one of the cars. But let's get on to it. First, recol first color, new model. 2017 Nissan GTR in orange. By far, this is my favorite color of it. Looks so good. Excuse me as I burp there. And I might have the sniffles, sniffles battling a coal right now. I love this color. Put the GTR emblem perfect on the front. Tail lights, good. Love the color, love the wheels. Tail lights, good. Love the color, love the wheels. Obviously, it's a very nice car. I've customized them. They're good. And now here's the recolor in gray. My cousin says he likes this one over the orange one. Very nice. I gave that to him. Yeah, he gave it to me. I found a lot more of these. Same thing. Front, back, and the wheels. That's all. And the plastic headlights. Now, if you're a Tanner Fox fan, here it comes. Boom. This is Guaxilla. 2.0. 2.0. Very nice green rims. Also in the, I think it was the, the uh, toy fair convention. When everyone saw, everyone's like, oh my gosh, I just got some from Tanner Fox. But now they're doing it in the mainline C case. If you're a big Tanner Fox fan and you collect all the stuff he has, including the GTR, wait for the C case because you'll get the mainline if you didn't get your toy fair collector one. Limited to 600 pieces, I believe. And also, uh, the reason why they don't have regular ones anymore it was because 
he has a thing called Fox Boxes where it's just like a bunch of like random items off the shop and he had it included in there secretly. But the first 500 people that got it, they've already sold out in the first 24 hours. So Yeah, that's true. They did sell out. Anyways, this is Guaxilla 2.0. Still the 2017 Nissan GTR, except highly detailed front detail. This thing, I can't even say anything about this. This thing just looks good. Got the tail lights, of course. The black paint's coming off after we do that. Custom, very nice, dope, dope. I can say dope all the time about this car. When I look at this car, I think of Tanner Fox and his GTR, but it won't come with the wing. It'll just come with this. Very nice right-hand drive. So. That's probably the most highly sought after car of the seat case besides the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster Super. Now we get, after GTRs, JDM, aka Datsuns. And boy oh boy, I have a lot of Datsuns for you. If you're a JDM fan, just watch the video now because this video is going to probably be about an hour long, but there's not going to be too much stuff I would say. There's a bunch of crap I brought with me and I mixed it all up already. And... Yep. Okay. Now you're gonna sell the JDM cars. Of course, I have a Datsun 510 Matchbox. It's very nice. Got two Datsuns. I have a lot of Datsuns. I forgot to bring the regular shooting for that. But we got a lot of JDMs. First one. Oh, I can't even say anything about this one either. This is the 71 Datsun 510 Bluebird Wagon. I scored this Ultra Chase and I was like, dude, that's some, that's some, that's some. The Bluebird flew to me. Very nice car. Obviously, no Tampos, which kind of sucks, but kind of reminds me of the cool combi, the Flower Deco. Number one, obviously, it's the Ultra Chase, Tony the Bone Shaker, and the Ford Ranchero. Nice yellow interior. Base. It's a very nice car. Tell me what you like about these Datsuns. All of them are going to be Datsuns. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, lucky to find this one. This is the 50th anniversary favorites edition of the Datsun and all the retro entertainments and the car culture ones have all the detail, fully detailed. The 50th anniversary favorites Datsun by Blue Earth Wagon. At the top deco, mirrors again. There's a little speck on there. I can't say anything about this one either because it's just so good. This one has the front light tampos. So it's the back and it even says you see right there, uh, right here, I think it says Datsun right there. Yeah. Datsun. With the four spoke steely, with the four spoke rear riders, slicks. Very epic car, I love this one. This goes with my favorites, obviously, this year. This is not a peg warmer. Very nice. It's a very nice car, I can't even say anything about it. That's the Datsun. Now, Super Treasure Hunt. This is, I have most of the Supers in 2018. I will be getting the, all of them and do a live preview of the Supers when I get all of them. Obviously, you saw two Supers already. One Super in the Oval. But this one, oh, wait, I'm, this one is the Datsun 620 Super. Rear, treaded rear riders, five spoke, muscle wheels. They could have done the, uh, Fair Lady Z wheels, aka those, those wheels I showed you on the Huracan slicks. Yeah, very nice. This is the additional deco, and the TH is right here. There's a TH here, 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 and here. So there's four, five areas where there's TH. This symbol tells you it's a JDM car. Japanese nostalgia car logo. Spectra Flame Green. The regular is in a military light green. I do have a lot of Datsuns. I'm a Datsun hoarder, and I love them. Spectra Flame Green looks real good on this model. Very good looking car. <laughs> if you ask me, it's very good. And what I also love is on the regular, it doesn't show the Datsun words, the word Datsun in the back, but the Super, it does. And that's the Datsun. Super. And obviously, now we move on to... Okay, that's it. Nope, that's not it. I'm just playing. Still battling my cold. This is the DeLorean Time Machine Back to the Future 2 in the Zamac. And if you're still hot up, caught up with Hot Wheels, you might know that the Hover Mode 1 will be a Super of the F case. I'm like, it's not going to have rear riders because Supers in the future don't need rear rider wheels. 
and because they'll hover, but they'll have switch flames still. But this one's the same act. Obviously, very detailed, very heavy car, and also the railroad one. Look at that. There's the back. It is the front, back, rear riders, or the DeLorean rear riders, I call them that. And that's the DeLorean. I'm trying to make this live stream not too long. <laughs> As you can see, <coughs> me battling my cold. Hey, 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 now let's see which one we can do next. I don't have any more of those retro entertainments. But I do have a custom. My, this is one of my Ferraris. I do have some Ferraris. But at the time, I thought Ferraris were just going to be in existence forever. And I sold them because to make money for supers, I could get them. But I only have a few now. And Ferrari lost their license. How was lost their license with Ferrari? And now they didn't do it. But this is the Ferrari 288 GTO. Customize the heck out of this. Rear riders, side detail. Oh my gosh. It says 288 GTO on the back. If you know that sound, that's the sound of rear riders. Yep, and there are rear riders you can see there. Five star rear riders. That sound makes me think of supers. But this thing, very beautiful. If I sold this, I'd probably sell it for around eighty dollars, if not more, one hundred and ten. But I'm not going to sell this anytime soon because this thing looks good. Very nice car. Let's see. There you go. There's the Ferrari 288 GTO. And we also have some other legendary models, which I'll get to you with. This is also a custom. This is the custom Lamborghini Murcielago SV. If you don't know, back in 2008 through 2010, Hot Wheels did the Speed Machine series. And the Murcielago is released in two colors, first in yellow and white being the rarer color. But for some reason, I think Hot Wheels decided mm, the Mercy Logger SV just needs a little break. But what they realized, they completely forgot about this car. And now the prices are soaring on eBay. Like even the loose ones cost $80. <laughs> but this one is customized and it throws me back into 2010. Look at that. Got the wing, the back. So good looking. Just look at that. See that? SV stands for Super Veloc. Front. That so I'm gonna sell amazed about how good this look. And the yellow, very nice. And that's your Mercy Logo. Now, I have more Mercy Logos. This is the Fast and the Furious. If I was talking about the GTRs, both of the GTRs in the Skyline were on that set. Of course, I love the color on this Mercy Logo and that burnt orange, magma orange color with the front detail and the back detail, and the top, the bottom. Looks good. But all the Lamborghinis have one problem is that the wheels don't sit far. They sit far in, like a Countach. Also, why does the Mercy Lagos from Hot Wheels have no windows in the back? They're being lazy. They don't want to cast any engine parts. <laughs> they don't want to be casting any engine parts or something like that. But that is the. That is the uh, Mercy Lago. As, that's the Mercy Lago. Let me get Mercy Lago LP6740, I think. As you can see, my camera. Whoops. Dropping cars. Which I don't want to drop in cars because some of these cars are very valuable. Uh, I'm still dropping cars. Obviously, I don't need this. And I'm still trying to deal with some stuff. Now, I have a lot of Lambos, but now we're going to move on to some Matchbox. Matchbox. That's right. Matchbox for a little bit and then back to Hot Wheels again. Me? The only Matchbox cards I collect. The reason why Matchbox is cool is because they detail the crap out of the Matchbox cars more than they do Hot Wheels, but it's that the wheels don't work on the track right. I'm going to go little by little best models this is the regular version of the sapphire gym the uh what is it called the uh, 70 plymouth cuda in hot wheels form this is the king cuda and 
this. The Sapphire Gem has different art card art. Obviously, it's in a lighter blue. And it says 65. And obviously, this thing just looks real good. I bet this was a popular collector's item. It's a very good car. The five star plastic wheels on it. Tell me, it's nice. Okay, next up, we're going to BMW I8 time right here. Nah. This is the Mercedes Benz Walmart exclusive set. This is the SLR McLaren, Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren. Back then, they were producing it in silver and I think in red and maybe one in blue, but then they lost the license to Mercedes for a little bit. And then when that struck, when the Mercedes Benz loss of license depression hit, the prices on all the Mercedes, and I mean, even the, the, the ones that were hated the most, soared up on prices online. Like the Mercedes Benz, like some of the ugly Mercedes that everyone thought were just regular cars that were for sale on, online for like $3, when that depression struck, went up all the way to like $50, $60 carded mint. Mint ones went up to 100 SLR was by far the most expensive one I think of that set with the price of $120 to $30 but they came back but I think last year or maybe 2000 I think it was last year when they got their license back Matchbox decided to celebrate by going Mercedes Benz crazy they said oh let's throw a party with Mercedes Benz and do a lot of Mercedes sets obviously the two most likely set off sought after cars of the mercedes benz walmart exclusive set is of course this one and the amg 6x6 and the amg wagon i love this car i detailed on the front of the whole thing very nice car very nice and i love it that's the slr mclaren okay you've got bmws coming up this is the bmw i8 like it but I just kept it anyways basically what caused the BMW i8 to be produced very nice and same deco like the BMW i8 and now here's the BMW i8 and I also tell you the disappointing part about it, but let's get to the good features of this front light tampos are good tamp details on this thing are good side tampos are really good everything is good but when I flip it up to the top, I wish they didn't do the whole roof thing. I just wish they did this part black, but did this. But hey, Matchbox can make up the rules as well. But when we get to the back of the BMW i8, ugh, where'd the tail lights go? Well, Matchbox obviously said, we sorry, Meta, sorry, you fans, but we couldn't put the tail lights on the BMW i8 because it was so dang damn difficult. But if you want one with tail lights, you gotta get it from the Matchbox uh, Globe Traveler series. I believe that's it. Yeah, I think it's Globe Travelers. But the one with the opening doors. If you saw the Lambda Group's video, the one with the opening doors prototype, it's in blue and it has tail lights and front lights, opening doors. And I'm by far, this is my favorite Matchbox car all time. I'll start hoarding these things. And then my next recolor is this one, hopefully, under that blue one. Let me set some Matchbox cars. I think we're all done here. And there's that. That is some 510 rally was also Matchbox. Now, SpaceX. If you know SpaceX, they launched Tesla and the Roadster into space about nine months ago. Well, here she is. <gasps> With the paint, the wheels, the front design, the back design, like Elon Musk's 2008 Tesla Roadster, which is this. What is it? Bike. Just chilling here. Oh my gosh. And this is the Tesla Roadster, has detail. Kind of reminds me of the Super Tesla. Ever since the Tesla was launched into space, all red Teslas, including the Super, sort up in price. Which I just hit my hat. Sort up in price. Like literally, what? Like a second after they launched into space, went up in price. Like the Super is costed, like Super Tesla Roadster costs like $20. But when they launched the Tesla into space, $40. The older ones, $100. And this one, I sell for $80. Look at this. It's a beautiful car, Tesla. And now that's the Tesla. 
Obviously, I showed you Tender Fox's car, right? Now we're still in the mainline range. And, uh, I'm still gonna show you some other things. Some two, more, two or three more mainlines. Of course, this is the Honda Civic Type R. Awesome, also Z a Zaymet this year. A custom wing. This is the Porsche 918 Spire, the re-edited version. Not the ugly concept, that looked very ugly. Of course, they redid it with the darker windshield. No side uh, exhaust, and they poorly detailed the back. Porsche 918 Spider on the back, as well as Porsche. And the Hot Wheels logo, front highlights on the Porsche emblem aggressive look these things in real life cost 2.8 million dollars 1.8 million dollars to save your money up for one of these very nice now this is by far my most favorite color the mercedes-benz amg gt since it came out in 2017 have all four recolors for including the red edition which is in white with red rims got the one in yellow red black and then green one but I don't like the black, great the, the tan interior. I could have done it like black because it match it. But I love the color. I was just hot wheels and they can do whatever they want. Very nice front tempos. But look out for the headlights. <laughs> headlights on this are very ugly. I can't stand them. I've only found one with the perfect headlights and tail lights. Very nice. Very nice color. I just love it. It reminds me of Spectre Flame Green. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. Now, popular mainline and super. This is the 2017 Audi R6 Avant. Super is obviously in Spectre Flame Red with the Aero Disc Screw Riders with Chrome. And the TH will be on the back, but this is the mainline. And the mainline being popular. I'm really hoping for the February K Day event in 2019. I hope they recolor this one in blue. So it matches with the red. I will be getting the super and I'll show you on the live stream. It's a very nice car. Look at that. It says Quattro if you can see. You can see what it says. It says Quattro. Yeah, it says Quattro. So that's my favorite wagon one out of the two most popular wagons of course the Datsun 510 Bluebird wagon was super was the other one and this is my custom Porsche of course it looks horrible because I still haven't finished customizing it and I drop it now this is my favorite custom of all extreme this is Lamborghini Huracan Pocamonte custom hot wheels short card very detailed and I already ripped it open sadly Oh my gosh, this thing looks good. Front detail, side detail, back detail, wing, engine detail. Oh my gosh, with the nice wheels with the JR5s, I think. Or PR5s, I'm not too sure. Very nice one, though. I love this one. I think Hot Wheels will be doing it. They said they may just do it. Now, I'll take treasure hunts. So, what are treasure hunts? Basically, my main line is picked. And convert it into a little bit harder to find one. They're not hard to find because they're in every case. They're even in international cases, but I'll tell you later what they, they, they look like in international court cases. And treasure hunts. I do not like treasure hunts. I only get one from each case. And if I get more than one, I just spit them out. Give them to other collectors who love treasure hunts. I'm not a treasure hunt hoarder. I'm a super treasure hunt hoarder because super treasure hunts are beauties. Now I'm not gonna go too slow. I'm gonna go fast on these treasure hunts because obviously they're not important. As this does the next showcase, which is obviously my lovely crushes gems. Now I have an old one from 2014. I'm trying to look for Datsun fighting wagons, got none, but kept one. This is the Q case. Cloak and Dagger. Treasure Hunt. As you can see, this is how the Treasure Hunt logo involved. It said, this, congrats, this one says, 
This symbol lets you know this the, the, the symbol lets you know it is hard to find and highly collectible. And here it is. I personally love the color on this one. I got rid of some and I kept the only one. So of course you can see the logo right here. And that green. And of course, you know what a cloak is, right? If you know what a cloak is, a cloak means movable. Like a covering. And when you take it off, it looks very weird. Very nice car. You always see this one is a very nice car. Let's see, but that's your QK Treasure Hunt 2018. Get into 2017. I have the CK Treasure Hunt, which is probably the least favorite 2018. <laughs> With a minor vein in it. This is Dragon Buster, and I won't open it because. Just don't. But this is a Dragon Buster. With the vein in the card. CK Treasure Hunt. I have both the mainline, the Treasure Hunt, and the Super. And this is how the symbol looks after that. 2016 is when they changed it. It turned from black to gray. And it says, congratulations, this symbol means you just found a highly collectible treasure hunt car. And the symbol on this one is on top of his head, on the back of the car, and on the card itself. Two location. CK treasure hunt. Now your GK treasure hunt, which I have one open. Is this guy the hollow's pursuit? I did put this one to the track and it didn't work. I have two of these. This one is a mint card. Obviously the crest, but I still consider it mint. I found a lot of these. You can always see that the logo on the card is right about there. And also on the cards right there, you can see it. And also right there, as you can see. Basically a uh, rocket powered Tahoe slam just stretched out and then modified to be a fantasy car with the red line rims. This is the Outlaws Rescue Treasure Hunt. Of course, last year was the Dodge Charger and I loved it. And yeah, I think I like this one a little bit. Yeah, but that's your G case Treasure Hunt. You know, your H case. I can open the H case one as well because if I want to, because it's. Very beautiful looking one. This is the, I found a lot of these. This is the Fandango. As you see, it says H. This is the Fandango treasure hunt. And where's the logo on the car? That's not, well, it's not on the car. Maybe on the car on the side. Maybe on the back. Maybe on the front. Where it's only maybe on the bottom, because obviously, he's stupid enough to put a treasure hunt buckle on the bottom. But if you look on the top, poop, there it is. Big old fat treasure hunt logo to tell you, hey look, I'm a treasure hunt. Get me. No, I won't get you, but I don't really want. I have a loose one, but I should have brought it. But... Yeah, but this one also says that it's too big to see it. And as you can see, that one. There's the symbol on the back of the card as well. It's your HK treasure hunt. Your KK treasure hunt. Is the Blade Raider. You see it says K on the back of the card. So you see the logo on the wing back there? And it also says it right there. Big ball hostile. I think this one does have suspensions. And it's a very nice okay. one. Come on. And there's a symbol. Symbol. Yeah, I only clicked one. I think I like this one does do a whore. It says best for track, but how is this going to fit on the track with the big fat tires? I already tested it and it sucks. And that's your K case treasure hunt. Your L case. Which this thing does good in the track. This is the, uh, what is this thing? the aerodynamic. That's your aerodynamic. Symbol on the card is right here. And on the card itself. On the car is right there and right there. It's a very small car that fits in the palm of my hand. And it is X Racer's Treasure Hunt 2017. This one with the LV so The PK's Treasure Hunt, which is obviously the worst one. It's the Blast Lane. There's the back. P. I don't want to open it because it's just a pain. There's the sim on the top of the bike. This one is also the same map. But 
Your QK Super, I like the color of this one. Also fair lazy super for this one. This is the fair duck. I don't think they really did a good job with this one. Obviously you can see the logo on the top of the card. Obviously treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. Past 2016 had no number. And 2018, by 2019 they're going to have no number. They're going to have number. So, the Honda Civic fooled me all the time. Yeah, and you can see it better on the card right there. You can see it right there, you see it? Yeah. There you go. You got a full thing right there. It is. I love this one. This one has Egyptian colors on it. That's why I like it. That chrome. Very nice. That's your cute treasure hunt. Last treasure hunt in 2017. I'll see you in 2018. AKS treasure hunt. This is a sting rod too. The stupid position and of course the logo is right there. Right there. And of course the treasure hunt logo did not change. It's the same. Logo right here. And right there. Of course Dino Riders. And the 2013 sting rod treasure hunt. He's had a moving part, but now this sucks because now Hot Wheels is getting rid of all their moving parts. And that part used to move, but now it doesn't. Kind of sad about that, right? That's your AK Street Hunt. I already showed you the Super 2018 A case. This is the uh, 2018 on Super D. HK Street Hunt. This is the Roadster. Also, Super Treasure Hunt 2015's B case. Symbol right there, and you also symbols see on the card. Right there, but I have a loose one already. Thank you, goodness. This one is a very nice. There's a symbol on this up. Of course, the Super is in special light blue, and it has a TH on the back. That's your HK Super. I mean, Treasure Hunt. Your LK's treasure hunt is the hollowback. It's a symbol in the card. It's right there. No number on the car is right there. And on the bottom of the base, you can see it. It's right there. Boom. But now, as I continue the battle of the cold. Oh, we missed some. Alright, we're buying a babe now and eating some pizza. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are highly sought after hoarder collecting items. Volkswagen T2 is the 2019 BK Super. It's root beer color, Volkswagen. And the McLaren F1 is my favorite in the Golf Series of 2019. Very awesome. I'm gonna, I bet that I'm gonna make the price go up. Now, Super Treasure Hunts. You've been waiting for this. Supers. This is the 2017 AK Super. This is also with no number. 63 Chevy 2. <laughs> a lot of muscle cars last year. If you know it, if you're probably saying, where's the TH? It should be on the side of the car, on the hood. When it's on the butt of the car. Let's unbox it. Of course, I gently open my cards from the card, and of course, the special, the super treasure hunt logo is in gold. With Spetch Flame Magenta Pink, and the Five Spoke Chrome Rear Riders. Look at that, and the additional deco is this. Look how nice it looks. It's very nice, right? Very nice. That's your AK Super 2017. Your CK Super. 16 is, is the uh, you guess it 16 angels no I can't take it out because obviously wait I think I can take it out nope I can't also this one has the TH on the back of the car well it makes this one this one on the Lyman group debuted as the worst super this one only becomes popular around the holidays Christmas mainly the TH is in the back I love those wheels unfortunately you can't just take the wheels off of a lot of the cars your HK Super. If you're a Batman fan, you probably like this. This is the Batmobile Brave and the Bold Batmobile. I'm this in the Walmart. This is your HK Super Treasure Hunt. Of course, the Fandango is the treasure hunt in that case. This sticker proves I was in the Walmart. 
I found it. TH on the back of the car, five spoke rear riders in black with red lips. That's your HK Super, your JK Super, which is too much gold for 2017. This is the two, this is the 2013 SO2 Viper. It's TH, obviously, at the card right there. Right there, and obviously, this one also is open. Let's start playing logo continuing. Course inspection flame gold. Too much gold cars 2008 17. GT rear riders. But I wish the additional deco would be on the top. But how this makes up for those again? I love Viper Supers. They look so good. Do you see the TH? Do you see the TH? The camera will focus. You see it? No, the camera's being dumb. But that's your JK Super. Or Treasure Hunt was that little. That pedal car. What was it called? I forgot what it was called. But. Your KK Super's Cruise Bruiser L. M -M okay, that's done. Now we got 2018. The video is going to end shortly. Of course, I already boxed two of them the AK being the Datsun and the FK being the Indy. But I still have more plain goods to show you. Mm. And then we'll get a sneak peek at a 2019 Super. We can see look around for the Supers. Of course, your of course your uh, CK Super is. But this is the DK Super 2015 Ford Mustang GT, Bo aka the Boiler Mu Mustang GT with the GT Riders chrome lip. Pretty nice car, Boiler. No additional deck on this one. That's your DK Super, your EK Super being the most high stuff here, but your FK Super was the Indy. Your GK Super being the, uh, probably one of the worst Supers of 2018. The ugly looking, ugly looking, cartoonish, bonered up styled Mustang. My cousin says it's also the worst Super. Say, say the Mustang Super stuff. The Toon Mustang Super looks worse. You know that one I showed you? That one? Mm -hmm. It sucks. It sucks. But a Super is a Super. Mm. But your HK Super has a is good. This is the 2017 Camaro Z01. I found this one on a red card. I'm not going to open it. Circle Flame logo. The red lip variation. And the uh, five spoke rear riders in black. Additional deck goes to the top. I don't know how many cars have additional deco, but I think I'm counting one, two, three, three cars have additional deco, four, four suits. The Spectre Fun Green looks real nice in the THP and the Z01 logo. Now this is my favorite super. This is my favorite Super of 2018. And no, I will not open it because it's my favorite. I bet it's all y'all's favorites who are watching the live stream or will be watching it later. You see that K? You probably know what Super it is when you look at it. Boom! This is the Inventor Mirror Homage Super. And yes, 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 yes. I'm saying this now. I love this Super. This is my favorite. And look at that beauty, just in special flame red. Very nice to see how Hot Wheels and Lamborghini are both celebrating 50 years. And obviously Lamborghini asked them to make a super. And they did it also. Very nice. Very nice super. Special flame red, gold trim. Five star rear riders, TH. Here's the main line. Main line looks good, like the super. Here's what it looks like carded. So that's your KK super. Of course the treasure hunt was the bumper run. Both, I'm like, both of the treasure hunts of that, both the, of the cars of that case were in red. L case, haven't found it, King Cuda. M case was that Audi. But, your N case was the surprising one. Also the weirdest one of this year, probably the whole Hot Wheels. <laughs> this is the Fiat 500, super.
because the mainline color was in the seed case and the mainline of the end case was in silver. The super was in that same color. TH is on the roof. You can barely see it. But Spectra Flame Copper slash Orange slash Carmel. The yellow GT Rewriters. Daredevils. They thought they were going to do this as an April Fool's prank. And they didn't lie, but they did do the hot seat as an April Fool's prank. They did do the toilet car as a super. Be like, huh? You made that a super? Everyone's gonna take a big dump in that super is what they're gonna do. But they didn't do it and they did the Cool of the Ville, which I'm gonna go after. Let's see your in case super. Also your Oh yeah, now. We're almost finished, but got two three more cards to show you. This is a sneak peek at the 2019 Hot Wheels H or JK Super. The 64 and Paul the 64. Impala. And it looks good. Spectra Flame Purple with the TH on the back, obviously. Additional deck will be the Stripes, be part of the Muscle Mania series. The Deep Dish Road Riders of Chrome. Very nice car. I love it personally. Okay, that's your HGJK Super 2019. And now the video is going to end here shortly. These are two of the chase pieces of that Mr. Metal Series 1. I think the first one, this one is the Chase Mazda, which is number, the Chase Mazda, the regular Chase is number 10, as you can see right here. I think that's the Mazda. No, this is the Mazda. You have to look under this tab right here, and it'll show you the 10. And this is Jimmy Lou, this is Jimmy Lou's car. He designed it. He's a good guy. With Mattel. I love the color on this one. It looks good. Also, the stickers in silver. Very nice. I still need to call it going to roaster, but I'll go back to Walmart and go get them. And then, I went to Walmart recently. And there is more Mystery Model Series 1. And I just gave it a thought. They're old. They've been sitting there since maybe July. Maybe... June, April, May. But something told me to look at them. And I looked at them. And I pulled this out. You're probably going to guess which one it is, right? It's either going to be the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster or the Ultra Special one, which I'm not going to tell you until I show you the number. See the number? See that number right there? I don't know if you can see it or not. Number two. Guess what number two is? Boom! The 4GT LM chase, man. And I finally got both of the chases of both case. And now, go hit your Walmarts up because they're getting Mystery Model Series 3, the Halloween one. Of course, the sticker will be in gold. It looks real good. I love this one. I thought the production code number was an error, but it's not. But this thing looks good. GT, chrome, mismatched wheels, gold base. Of course, the Ultra Chases aren't going to be in every Mr. Models case, so they're going to be in every one out of five cases, and one out of every three cases. Cases. While the Chases will be in every case, but there will be one. The other Chases of Corvette Grand Sport which I think is number five. And the other Chases for the Mr. Models Series 2 with the Batson is the Bone Shaker and the Foreground Chero, which are in every case. I forgot the numbers. But this is what's going to end off the live stream, the 4GT. And that, my proud folks, is all my favorite models of 2018. When I get all my supers and my Thanksgiving dinner, I'll do a live stream of that. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all guys again on my next live stream. Later. Bye.